Hello, teacher. Did you take a bath? Yes. <laughs> okay, good evening. Ian, uh, how was your week? How was class today? How was your class for today? Was it okay? Um, um yes, yes, this is okay. 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 But, but I'm, I'm so tired. tired. Um, yes. Um, um as much as yeah. Are you happy going back to school? Sorry? Sorry? Are you are you happy going back to school? Um, um yes, yes of course. But, but um, um so a little bit tired it, it, now. now. This is my coach uh coach education. Wow. <laughs> I know it's hard school, we only have one. Can you hear me clearly? Um, I, I hear my, my sound. Okay, I would say. Mm -hmm. so, you so you can, can see, see my, my voice. voice. Wait, wait. Um, is is it? it? I don't. Oh, your voice is okay to me. Oh, oh. but, but uh, uh, I, 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 how about that? Okay, I changed my microphone. I turned off the noise box for Canada. Okay, just tell me if a noise is just set it aside and let's proceed to the Okay, I can um, send your message, voice message, and uh, my voice is repeated. Okay, I have it just sent to you. No. 
Your voice is okay. I can hear you clearly. Oh. <laughs> There's no echo. How about how about now? Can you can you read what's on the screen? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Yes, hello. I can hear you clearly. Okay, okay. My voice is okay now. Okay, okay. So for the, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so for the part two, um, remember last meeting, I I am teaching you about accounting, the introduction to accounting. Yes. 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 Okay. Last lesson is our topic. So the part two of this will be the accounting principles. We will be learning today about account accounting principles. Da -da -da. I hope. Da -da. So can you read so make so I can know how you can pronounce it. Can you please read? Okay, part two, accounting principles. Okay, very good. Can can you read? Um, can you read? Um, your English is okay. How about the objectives? Can you read the objectives? Okay, the first one, vocabulary about accounting. The second, understand accounting principles. The third, talk about principles in your country. So this will be vocabulary. Vocabulary. Oh, sorry, teacher. I want to uh, suggest you uh, one thing. That, uh, um, you, I think you should um, wear two uh, earphones like this. Uh, yes. yes, we're wearing it. Yes. Okay, okay. So I can uh, hear clearly. I can hear you clearly. Can you, can, yeah. can you read again? Like this yes. one. Vocabulary. Vocabulary. Very good. Vocabulary. Okay. Just set this aside. Okay, next. Okay. This one. Principle. 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 Yes. What Prin does prin yes. yeah. what does principle mean? Uh, principle means a law, a rule, or a theory, or a theory that something is based on. Oh, very good. And next is hospitality. Hospitality is a person whose job to is to keep or check financial accounts. Yes, very good. And next, yeah. significant. Significant is a uh, written record of money that is owned to a business and of money that has been paid by it. Yes. Okay. Hospitality. Told Significant. I told you your English is good. Significant. Okay. Does your voice still in repeat? No, uh, now it's okay. Okay, okay. Okay, so another vocabulary. Let's read. Okay, students. Okay, number one, prudence, consistency, self-assent, proof, and then capital. Let's hear the audience. Prudence. Can you repeat? Prudence. Prudence. Very good. Prudence. Next. Prudence. Consistency. Oh. oh, it's me. Consistency. Consistent. Consistency. 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 Consistent. 
Sufficient. 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 Yes, very good. Next Proof. Is. Proof. 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 Very good. Last one is capital. 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 Okay. Prudence is a sensible and careful attitude when you have judgments. Okay. Sensible and careful attitude. Judgments and decisions. Behavior that uh, that avoids necessary necess unnecessary risks. Next is consistency, the quality of always behaving in the same way. That is consistency of having the same opinions, standards, and etc. The quality of being consistent. Sufficient is enough for a particular purpose as much as you need. Proof is information documents that show something is true. It is also equal to evidence. Proof and evidence are the same. Okay. Yes. And capital is the wealth or property that is owned by a business or a person and can be, and can be invested or used to start a business. Okay. Yes, okay. Do you want to read? Okay, I will read uh, once time. Okay. Okay. Prudence is a sensible and careful attitude when you make judgments and decisions. Behavior that avoids unnecessary risk. Consistency uh, means the means the quality of always behaving in the same way or of having the same opinions, standard, etc. The quality of being consistent, suffi sufficient means enough for a particular purpose as much as you need. Proof is uh, information, documents, as it were, that show that something is true um, and uh, has the synonym evidence. Uh, the, the last one, capital, is wealth or a property that is owned by a business or person and can be invested or used to start a business. Okay, I like it. Okay, so next, another vocabulary. Reconciliation. 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 Okay, let's hear again. Reconciliation. Very good. Reconciliation. Reconciliation. Very good. Domestic. Domestic. Very good. Domestic. Yes. Arise. 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 Very good. Transaction. 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 Yes. Transaction. Deviation. 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 Yes, very good. Deviation. But I just read this deviation and reconciliation. Okay. Some um some some lang um some the English and the American. The American usually emphasizes the letter A. This one. Deviation, deviation. Deviation and deviation. Deviation. Okay. <laughs> those, um, um, the, those pronunciations are really confusing in the American and the and the English. English and American pronunciation. Okay, can you read reconciliation? Okay. Reconciliation uh, is an end to a disagreement. 
or a conflict with somebody and the start of a good relationship again, or the process of making is making it possible for two different ideas, facts, etc., to exist together without being opposed to each other. Domestic uh, means of or inside a particular country, not foreign or international. Okay. Not international. Next, arise. Arise um, means happen to start uh, to start to exist. Can you read again? Yes. Uh, how to spell that word? Okay. Like this one. Exis. Ex. Uh, okay, okay. Exist. Very good. Very good. Exist. Yes. Exist. And next. Transaction. Trans transaction okay. is a piece of. Pi is a piece of business that is done between people, especially in art of uh, buying or selling. Yes, okay, buying or selling. It can all, okay. Um, transaction can also be seen through when you transfer an account, when you send money, and you, when you receive money. That is also a way of transaction. And okay. deviation, how about deviation? Deviation uh, is the act of moving away from what is normal or acceptable, a difference from what is expected or uh, expected or acceptable. Very good. Acceptable. Okay, so that is deviation. Slide. Um, that's like um, adventure. It's like going into adventure without plans with knowing where you're going. Just a bench. And next, other vocabulary? Viable. Viable. Very good. Viable. Yeah. Next. Assumption. Assumption. Yes. And next. Obligation. Obligation. Pessimistic. Pessimistic. Very good. Pessimistic. Okay. And uh, we are into the meanings. Can you read all the meanings? Okay. Um, vi viable. That can be done. That will be successful. Yes, successful. Next, assumption. Assumption. Uh, is a belief or feeling that something is true or that something will happen. Although there is no proof for the act of taking or beginning to have power or responsibility. Yes. And next. Obligation. Uh, that means uh, the state of being forced to do something because it's because it is your du duty or because of a law as it were something which you must do because you have promised because of law as it were okay. and the pessimistic pessimistic um, expecting bad things to happen or something not to be successful um, and the synonym unknown uh, no, antonym yeah, optimistic. 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 Okay. Um, do you know what is optimistic? Yes. Uh, optimistic is uh, expecting uh, good things to happen or something uh, to be successful. <laughs> yes. That is um, being positive to all the things. Yes. Yes. Okay. It is also can be um, opportunity grabber. You grab everything. You grab every good opportunity that will come. Yeah. Okay. 
How about this one? Number five. Make two lists. Make two lists. So we have here a two lists. The safe topics and unsafe topics. Okay? Two lists. Yes, in the first, write down topics which will be safe to talk about with a foreign business. Okay, in a foreign business part. The second, write down unsafe topics. Let's check it what kind of safe topics does this mean. Okay, the first example is sports. Can you see the sports? Yes. Okay, weather. Okay, so when you are going to a business meeting, when you are going to um, when you are going to talk regarding business at business, um, in a meeting, so these are the topics that you should come you should come up with: sports, weather, travel. Okay. Travel. Travel. Yes. And the unsafe topics are the religions. Religions, politics, oops, politics, politics. Yes. Uh, may I ask your opinion? Why is it not safe to uh, um to open up topics about religions and politics? May I ask your opinion? Remember that all opinions, as long as it is related to to what it is. Okay, may I ask your opinion? Sorry, teacher. <laughs> um, okay, okay. Can you okay. talk uh, loudly? Okay, okay. Right. Okay. okay. Can, can I ask your opinion? The why it is, why is it, and why is it foreign? I, I mean, why is it religions and politics? is an example of unsafe topics when you are into a business meeting. Why? Um. <laughs> Let me ask your opinion. Go on. It's also a <laughs> exercise of your speak speaking style. So I don't have no ideas, but uh, I will try to uh, okay. make go some on, ideas. Yes, go on. Okay. I will um, listen. I think uh, the first reason is about uh, uh, when uh, they do a business job uh, they need to uh, talk about the the goods uh, of the goods or the maybe um, uh, the chance for money to uh, buy or say or sell but uh, not uh, concerned to uh, religions and politics <laughs> so i think there is a reason um comes to my mind and uh, i don't know uh, uh think uh, more any reason <laughs> if okay. you want yeah can you explain for me okay and it, your idea is always correct there's no wrong with that idea wrong with your opinion. Oh, yes but, um, I, um for me i just want to add that um Religion and politics is a very sensitive case because sensitive. when okay okay yes because when okay because the because in our world today we have the um we have divergence between religions and politics. If you are example, um, may I know what is your religion? Okay, because in some religion, okay. For example, um, in my religion, it's okay to wear revealing, uh, re revealing clothes. It's okay to to cuss. It's okay to do something that that the other religion considers as wrong. Um, for um, another example, I eat pork, but the other religion does not because they do oh. believe. Yes, they do believe that yes. eating pork is a sin, and yes. also, and also that is also. And that is also similar to politics because when I support this kind of, for example, I am a supporter of this president. Well, you are not a supporter of this president. So our idea, we go, we battle to our idea 
Uh, we got the rattles, and that is very wrong to a business because when you speak to a business meeting, um, you should convince you should convince each other to be a partner. So your so your business could um what do you mean by that could what do you could progress. Unlike in sports, unlike like unlike in this three, even if you like badminton and I don't like badminton, that is not yes. a deal. That is not yes. a big deal because we have our own because we have our own choices. Unlike really here, it's what do it's what we re, what we really believe in. Also in travel and in that. Okay? Did you get my point? Yes, okay. Yes, okay, I okay, get okay. Thank you so much for listening. Okay, so let's <laughs> that's that that's my duty. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for listening. So let's move on to the next thing and small talk. Small okay. talk. When you, when you are in a business meeting, when you are when you are meeting a person that you want to have a business con transaction con transaction with, these are the examples of greetings and small talk. Um, these are the greetings. Like for example. Um, you don't wait to people to introduce themselves. You introduce yourself first. Like, hello, I am, hello, miss, hello, miss Tian. I'm Rose, like that. <laughs> and it's nice to meet you, like this one. It's nice to meet you, too. Um, it is, um, it is really a, it is a must. It is a must to be polite. It is a must to be polite to these kind of people. It is, okay. It must. It a must uh, to be oops. polite. Okay, it's a must to be polite. It's yes, a, it's must a must to be polite. A must to be polite when you are meeting your business, your business partner, because you are earning their trust. May I introduce you? Yes, this kind of. And also, as what I said, it's a must to be polite, so you can offer to take off your clothes. Please come in and take a seat like that. Can I, can I get you a cup of coffee? coffee? You are going to treat them a cup of coffee. <laughs> I think um, I, yes, I think um, I really consider business transaction as um, if you want to get that person as your business partner, you must treat them a cup of coffee or a tea. You don't say like, um, you, you pay for your own coffee, you, you pay for your own tea. No, I think that's not really a good idea. I think it's a must. I think it's also a must to treat them a cup of coffee. Like this, would you like something to drink? This one. And should also... Attitude. Yes. Uh, also, can you uh, can you let your micro near to your sorry. mouth? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. And it is also a must to be polite when you answer them. When they are nice to you, you must be also nice. And if and an example, um, um, you are a trainee and you want them to invest in your company. Um, even if they don't approach you politely, you must still go. You must still. You must still be polite, because you want their trust. You want their money to come inside with your company. Can you read what I am inboxing? <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Meeting people. Hello, Mister. Miss. I am. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. May I introduce you to blah blah blah. <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to have you met blah blah blah. Yes. And then <laughs> offer, offering hospital hospitality. Yeah. Can I take your coat? Please come in and take a seat. Can I get you a cup of coffee or tea? Would you like something to drink? Yes, please. Yes, that would be great. No, thank you. No, thanks. 
I told you you're good in this. You are good in English, but you want to be better. So I I just want to make my intonation is better day by day. Yeah. And then um, I follow. Yes, I practice follow a lot of YouTube. I, a lot of YouTubers. You just have yeah. to practice speaking. You just have to practice talking to someone. Yes. And also, yes. that is how you can practice your intonation, your diction, like that. Okay. So I want you to read this. I want you to read this. This article. Ta da! Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's go. go <laughs> you work <that>. in <laughs> you work in the, the finance department of a of your company. Today, a new colleague from your overseas part and par parent parent company yes, is coming parent. to the office for the first time. He or she only speaks English. You have been asked to welcome the new colleague show him or her around the office and make him or her feel comfortable at the end you should introduce your new colleague to the to to the head of the department department okay 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 um you um you um you pronounce the colleague right but um Yes, comfortable is also correct, but I just want to be uh, come like that. Comfortable. Like, you're going to read that as comfortable without the OR. Can you do it? Yes. Go on. Comfortable. Yes, comfortable. Com yeah, it sounds better. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, I, I, I uh, missed. Uh, and I don't uh, remember how to uh, spell or how to pronounce uh, that word. It's okay, it's okay. I just want yeah. to move on. Sometimes I yes. read comfortable as, uh, yes, I, as comfortable. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just really use this um, sometimes to compress like that. <laughs> okay, comfortable. Okay. Comfortable. Then, yeah, it sounds better, am I right? Okay, how about this one? Okay, uh, can you show me again uh, the the word uh, colleague? Colleague, it, oh, is yes. it right? Uh, yes, colleague. colleague. It is right, it is that right. Colleague. Yes, colleague. Colleague. So colleague. Colleagues are our work, workmates. Okay. Hello? Now I read. Hello. Hello. Hello? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. Well, um, it is your. Uh, yes. Yes. What do you want to say? Oh, uh, I. I mean, uh, I must read uh, this passage. Or oh, you read? Yes, I can hear it. I can hear your voice. Mm -hmm. Um. Um. Uh. What bothers you? Hello. Hello, 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 teacher. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, okay, I can hear you too. Okay, can you please read another another article? Yes. Okay. Uh, it is your first day in your new job as a member of the finance department in one of your company's European subsidiary subsidiaries <laughs> diaries how do you read this one diaries okay uh let the let later okay okay, uh, okay. you always speak english but hope to start learning the local language soon one of your new colleagues will meet will meet you and show you and show you around the company make new make small talk and ask questions about the company, how many people work there? Do they have a canteen? Does the company offer language classes, etc.? Okay, very good. Um, this one is subsidiaries. Subsidiary. Okay. Subsidiaries. Okay. Oh wait, let me check if I pronounce it clearly. Sometimes I forget. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, can, can I know the meaning 
the meaning of this of that word. Okay. The sure. meaning. Okay. Okay, so it's a diary. So um, this one. Um, can you read this again? New or new? New. 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 Okay. okay. Before it was read as new, but um today in the modern English it is it is, it is pronounced as new, like. Mm, like that new before it was pronounced as new but no yes like that new colleagues one of your new, new colleagues. colleagues yes but but it has the same meaning yes it has the same meaning it's just that it improves okay. Okay. but 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 we can choose uh, one of them to to say uh to speak or uh, must new? No, yes, yes. And new. It's like it's also the same as comfortable and comfortable, like that. It is the same, but it just sounds. It just sounds better than the old one, like that. Uh, I think it's also yes, cut like this. New and comfortable. That's the old. And in the modern English, it is now pronounced as new and comfortable. Oh, okay, 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 I know. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. <laughs> yeah, yes, it's okay. And this one, subsidy. Subsidiaries. No, it's subsidiaries. Yeah. Oh, subsidiaries. Yeah, subsidiaries. Subsidiaries. Yeah, subsidiaries. Yes, subsidiaries. And in the meaning of that word. Okay, it is not as important as something else or owned or controlled by another company. Oh, sorry, sorry, I, I can hear. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, I can hear. Yes, the meaning of this word is owned by another company. Like, department in one of your company's European subsidiaries. Means that your company. Um, maybe it is an investor, like that. Um, inv an investor, European investor, like that. It is also the same as investor because um, it's like a bigger company than your company who invests in your company. Did you get it? It's a European subsidiaries. Means that. Subsidiary. Yes, it means that it is a company that is owned by another person. Okay, the uh, the word here um the the statement here is um the part in one of your company's European subsidiaries. Your company has a subsidiary, meaning your company has an has an investor and it is a European company. Do you get it? Yes, okay. Okay, very good. And this one, um, um how do you how do you pronounce it again? Etc. Oh et cetera. yes, yes, etc. Okay, very good. That is all that is correct. Etc. Et yes, okay. So let's proceed. Ooh, that this is a this is a lot uh, okay, of okay. So, sorry teacher. Um, yes? the the word etc. Um, the the end at the end, we yes. must pronounce a uh, or a. Uh. Yes. Can you? Yes. What about etc. I I mean, I mean uh, um, the 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 letter at the end of uh, that word uh, must pronounce a uh, or a. Uh. Etc. I mean, but you, yes, but etc. is also is also etc. is also considered etc. Yes, it's also considered as good. Okay. Um, Thank you, teacher. <laughs> yes. You know the meaning of etc. Yes, uh, I it means so on. Is it yes. right? Yes, yes, yes. Or many more like that. Yes. Okay. So international account. So we're here in the reading again. 
Can you read the first paragraph, please? The yes, uh, okay. Account. Yes. Paragraph. Okay. Uh, international companies can choose how they present financial information to outside parties. The rules and regular re regulation regulations regulation okay. is it right okay. <laughs> regulation yeah very good regulations uh, regulation between countries vary significantly accountants worldwide are familiar uh, <clears throat> are familiar familiar with, familiar okay are familiar with the words general accepted accounting principles GAAP some of the basic principles are okay okay um um you corrected it you, regulations and familiar um actually yeah. um i have i have friends who are accounting students they read this as um this GAAP um this GAAP they read this as the but whatever <laughs> It is their job. And this one, the bullets, can you please read the bullets? Yes. The first one, the going concern, the going concern principle. The second, the, pru the prudence principle. The third, the matching principle. The fourth, the consistency, consistency principle. No wrong. So let's move on to the next. The development of these principles has greatly differed between countries. For example, for example, so it is here. Uh, my my screen. Uh, um, your screen let me let me check okay still no okay yes Okay. Can we, uh, wait, wait. Can we serve this as an assignment? Again, another video of you. I like that video. So can you, sorry. <laughs> can, you re can you record yourself again? Um reading this reading this article. Can you please? I will send this to you. Okay, and the whole the whole passage. Yes, the whole the whole article, and you're going to record yourself getting the video, and yes, send it and send it to me, and I will post it again. <laughs> Is it okay? Yes. Okay. Okay. I will, um um my concern about tomorrow. About tomorrow. What um. Time? Uh, uh, I think I will. Uh, we should choose a. Uh, uh, let me check my schedule. Okay. Uh, are you free at uh, 5 p.m.? Yes. Okay. <laughs> we will start at 5 p.m. tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay. I'll see you 5 p.m. I will bring school. Wait. Can you smile? Sorry? Can you smile? Okay, nice. Yes, <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye, Tian. Have a great night. Okay. Hear that? Goodbye, Tian. Have a great night. Goodbye, teacher and teacher Rose, and see you again. <laughs> okay, see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye-bye.